We're talking volleyball today, and we're going to narrow it down even further. Last week, we talked about the central region. Today, we talk about the state of Nebraska. That's on Midwest Sports Now. Hi, I'm Joey McWilliams, and thanks for watching. We're going to move straight into our primetime five. Now, with respect to the Nebraska Cornhuskers, who we know are a perennial national power in Division I, we're going to be talking about the rest of the state. And that first look is at the Concordia Bulldogs. The Bulldogs are 13-2 and two overall, 2-2 two and two in the G-Pack. Concordia entered conference play having won 12 in a row, but were tripped up by Morningside and by Midland. The Bulldogs did defeat Peru State on Saturday, and hopefully that rights the ship for them. Concordia has won 24 straight matches against non-conference opponents in the regular season. Emmy Noyd leads the way with 3.8 kills per set and is doing so while hitting 366 on the season. That's our number five team. Our number four team in the primetime five today is Midland. The Warriors, 12 and three overall, four and zero oh in the G-Pack, number nine in the country. The three losses, by the way, were all to top 10 teams. And the Warriors are on a four match winning streak right now, which happens to coincide with league play. Last week, getting a big five set victory over Concordia. We talked about that. Talia Flores has 240 digs in just 53 sets this season. That is Midland in at number four. At number three today, it's Shadron State. The Eagles, eight and two overall, two and zero oh in the RMAC for the first time since 1993. That's the year I got married. The Eagles beat Adams State on Thursday. That's a feat that hadn't happened since 2006. And at that point, I had just three of the five children I have. So Ashton Burdett averaged 8.43 digs per set this weekend. She had 24 in a four-set victory over Adams State and then had 32 in a three-set victory Saturday night against Fort Lewis. That 32 digs is a Shadron State record in a three-set match. And that is our number three team in the primetime five today. In at number two, it's Wayne State, the Wildcats, 9-1 and one overall. Wayne State picked up a W in the first nine matches of the season and then were swept by Northern Sun rival Northern State, who, by the way, is also 9-1 and one on the year. And now during that nine-match winning streak for Wayne, Strait, Wayne State, they earned sweeps in eight of those nine victories. Taryn Beller is tops in the league, a very tough Northern Sun league, in two categories, tops in hitting percent percentage with an amazing 480 on the year, and she's done that with 97 kills. She's also tops in the blocks category with 43 of them. That is Wayne State and our number one team in the primetime five today, Nebraska Kearney. The Lopers are now 11-0 and on the year. Now, as the number six team in the country last week, the Lopers swept then number three and previously unbeaten Washburn in Topeka. In the win, the Lopers, now the number three team in the country, got kills from seven different players, recorded 64 digs, and had nine team blocks. Julianne Jackson earned MIAA Player of the Week for her performance last week, which included 4.2 digs, 3.5, excuse me, 4.2 kills, 3.5 digs, and 0.8 blocks per set as Nebraska Kearney swept both Emporia State and Washburn. We talked about that. Jackson had 13 kills, six digs, and hit 522 against Emporia State. Then she had 12 kills, 15 digs, and hit 306 against Washburn. Nebraska Kearney, 11-0 on the year, now the number three team in Division II and our top team in the primetime five. Thanks for watching Midwest Sports Now. I'm Joey McWilliams. I'd appreciate it if you would subscribe to this YouTube channel, Midwest Sports Net, and we will see you next time. God bless you, and have a great one.